This is a video demonstration of how to integrate DX NetOps Performance Management and DX NetOps Spectrum. When these applications are integrated, they can share network item inventories as well as data related to the shared network items, such as performance events, fault alarms, and device lifecycle states. Our first step is to initiate the integration from the DX NetOps portal. We will register Spectrum as a data source so that the portal can retrieve the inventory of network items from DX NetOps Spectrum one-click web app. In the DX NetOps portal, navigate to Administration, Data Sources, Data Sources. On the Manage Data Sources page, click Add. This opens the Add Data Source window. First, we want to set the source type. Click the drop-down menu and select Spectrum Infrastructure Manager. The status field already shows enabled by default. If we select disabled, Spectrum won't register as a data source and won't be active and it won't contribute data to the DX NetOps portal. When you are integrating with Spectrum, you will need the hostname, port, and administrator credentials for the Spectrum one-click web console UI server configured when Spectrum was installed. So make sure you have this information at hand. In the hostname field, we'll enter the hostname of the Spectrum one-click web console UI server. For protocol, select either HTTP or HTTPS, depending on which protocol the one-click server uses. By default, the port field is populated with port 8080. If the port is different than 8080, before defining the port field, choose the protocol setting first. If the default HTTP is changed to HTTPS, the port field clears and is replaced with the default port of 8080. It's best to define the protocol and then, if a custom port number is needed, enter the custom port number. The DX NetOps Spectrum One Click Console Web App Server in this environment uses the default port 8080, so we will leave it as is. The display name field is dynamically populated with the selected source type and the host name. The display name is how the Spectrum's data source will appear in views and menus, so give the data source a meaningful name if the default name is not clear enough. There are three checkboxes below these fields. The first is Contribute Inventory to Data Aggregator. When we select this, network items in the one-click inventory can be discovered by the portal. This won't automatically sync every device Spectrum has modeled. The process of defining which models in one click are added to the DX NetOps portal inventory takes place after the Spectrum data source is added to the DX NetOps portal. Next is Synchronize Device Lifecycle from Spectrum. When we select this, we allow one click to control the lifecycle state of devices synced to the DX NetOps portal. If a device is deleted or put into maintenance in one click, those changes are reflected in the portal too. For the web console section, there is only one option selected by default, save as data source. This setting is for scenarios where there is a web UI for a data source, but the web UI for the data source is on a different server than the data source configured in the above hostname and port fields. In this scenario, when the checkbox is unselected, host name, port, and protocol fields display. These fields are used to define the location of the web console for the data source. In some places in the portal, network items from an existing data source have the option to open the item in the web console of the external data source. If the web console is not the same location as the data source, these fields are used to link to the correct location for the web console. In this example, we are already connecting to the one-click server, which hosts the one-click web UI, so we can leave this section checked. In the authentication section, we'll enter the credentials for an administrator-level one-click account. We recommend using the credentials of the Spectrum installation owner. Once everything has been entered into the Add Data Source window, we'll click Test to verify the connection to the data source. If the credentials, hostname, and port were entered incorrectly, the test will fail, so be sure these have been entered correctly first. The test returns successful, so we'll click Save. We can see that the data source was added, but is awaiting to bind. The DX NetOps portal treats all connections as first come, first served. If there are other connections awaiting synchronization that are already in queue, these connections will process before the bind happens. 
Here we see the bind is complete, and the integration is complete from the portal side. Now we're going to configure the integration from the one-click side. Usually, when an external data source integrates with DX NetOps Performance Management, the only data Performance Management shares is administrative, such as group configuration, authentication settings, SNMP profiles, users, and roles. However, when integrated with Performance Management, one click can pull for performance threshold event data and then generate alarms based on those events. This means that when the portal retrieves alarms data from one click, this data will include alarms triggered from performance threshold events. In order for this to happen, we need to enable one click to pull the portal for events data. Log into DX NetOps Spectrum One Click Management Console and click Administration in the top menu tabs. The administration pages appear on the left. Click on Performance Center Integration Configuration. Next to the event polling field, we'll click Enable. The event polling interval is the time between event polls in seconds. The default is every 60 seconds. That sounds good, so we'll click Save. Now, once every minute, one click will poll the portal for any event data related to synchronized network items. With that, the integration is complete on the one-click side, and the integration between DX NetOps Performance Management and DX NetOps Spectrum is complete.